I've recently been traveling around Baghdad to ask Iraqi women questions sent in by our readers. The topics ranged from women's rights to child care and even touched on the everyday threat of being killed by a suicide bomber while shopping for groceries. I was accompanied on these trips by Anwar Ali, a female Iraqi journalist from our newsroom. She translated questions from readers and posed follow-up questions of her own. Would you like me to ask her another question? For her own safety, Anwar's face does not appear in this video. While watching, please remember, the opinions expressed here are just that, opinions. This is not a news survey. We interviewed Shiites and Sunnis in mixed neighborhoods. But many women we talked to did not want to appear on camera. Have you noticed a shift in the amount of respect for yourself as a woman since Saddam Hussein left power? No. During the Saddam regime, we were better respected. Don't you feel any freedom now? I don't feel any freedom now as there is no security. What is the meaning of freedom? What is the meaning of freedom? There is no security. We can't go out of our houses. We go from our work to our houses and from our house to our work. We feel worried about our sons. Even if we are sitting inside the house, there is no security. We don't know where mortars will come from to hit us. Even the Iraqi families are separated. Just give me one family or one home that their members are not displaced. There is none. What is it like to raise children in Baghdad today? It is really difficult because a child needs someone with him 24 hours a day. It is not easy. He needs someone to take him to school and pick him up. You know, children need almost everything, and the mother must be with them. If they have a problem in the school, I must go to see what they need. I have a girl, and I need to watch her behavior all the time. How do you wash your clothes and stay clean? You know there is no electricity. Why do you need electricity? To operate the washing machine and to dry the clothes. Because the air is full of the dust, you can't hang them outside. Okay. Does having women in the Iraqi parliament change anything for you? Regarding changes, no, nothing changed. Because our society does not let women make change. Our society will let only men make changes. What do you think about their presence in parliament? Women are only used as propaganda to show the world how democratic we are to let women participate. That's all. Thank you. Have women had a better chance of obtaining a higher education since the fall of the old regime? What has changed, for better or worse, in regards to education for women? Regarding female education, the new Iraqi constitution guaranteed women a share in education to make it equal to a man's. Of course, that will be a change for the better, even if she had a graduate degree. In every job, she would be treated just like the blue-collar employee who had no degree. And that was the unfairness that women were feeling at that time. Now there are some developments in the Constitution since the fall of the previous regime. But it hasn't made average women successful.